this is the second fluke, and um, I'm doing this on my computer, and I don't know how to turn off the notifications, so I'm sorry if there's noises during the video. So, anyways, I wanted to do a Delphi validation video. I'm not working Delphi anymore, but I wanted to validate some of the information that I got. As I've stated multiple times in those auto writes, I do get past, present, and future, and um, also multiple cases. Now, in those auto writes, we found out I did actually kind of um, foretell Nicole Bowen's murder, and um, also a lot of things validate Kurt's. So this tells me that he is connected some way to Delphi, um, whether it be the people that's around him. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of things in the cases that were similar as to the way the girls were killed and the way Nicole was killed and the uh, the way things were done. So he's connected in some way. Um, so in the auto rights I did two years ago, you can go back and see them. There's many things that I've gotten to validate this man, plus possible connections, possible ones that are connections. This time it's sort of hard to sort it all out until something breaks. The way my gifts work, I get connections, symbols, and people connected to, as well as I notice other auto rights. So I do want to mention now that all people are innocent until proven guilty. This is just my psychic impressions. So, um, I'll get connection symbols and people connected to, as well as I noticed in other auto rights. I picked up, I already talked about this. Sorry, I have it all written out. Um, in the auto right, I mentioned horses and ranch. This man works at a ranch with horses. Cowboy came up and I guess that's his nickname. Blue and white flannel came up. He wears them a lot, plus other colors. I got Christopher in regular reading just before all of this broke. And I don't know how to show a picture or anything, but it was a cold case I was working on. I feel like that might be why, because it was about a week before. Um, in auto right, I mentioned High Five. This is five people involved in West Lafayette. Woman, Nicole Bowen. Um, they're all into drugs or runs with the crowd, that seems. Also, I don't have this in an auto right, because sometimes I do get random stuff and I don't put it all out. But I have people that can attest to it. Back when I was working on Sam, the name Bowen came in. Randomly. So we were looking for someone that was missing named Bowen. I remember it was like a big old thing. We never found her. Now I kind of know why. I got her last name in the auto right anyways, her other one. So I just wanted to um, tell you guys about that because that kind of blew me away. So the month February came in as well as the number seven. His birthday is February 7th. Reddish hair I picked up. Believe Chris uh, getting, uh, believe Chris does. Also he does. There's others connected to him as well. Uh, getting a C sounding name. Letter K. Um, so, okay, Kurtz, uh, Bobby came up in Molly's and, and that matches Nicole's, uh, brother. Also, there is a guy connected to Kurtz and, um, another guy I'm going to mention and he has a name and I don't want to say it because I believe he's still out there and it's in the auto rights and it starts with a B and he has red hair and he has the stature like I was thinking and he does drive a diesel red truck um like they have a trucking company that's red so i thought that was interesting um let's see uh, molly's auto rights back in uh 2018 some of what i believe was because it was going to happen i have able to been able to connect cases that i pick up way before but didn't even realize that they do until they until it happened so i was shown a cabin by a river actually i'm thinking that might be the random auto right um but it could possibly be that shack. I did mention shack anyways, but, um, so let's see. This is a, the, let's see, letter P. I believe, um, there's a Parker. Um, also the letter A, I believe was Ashley, uh, uh, back in Molly's. I also got Ashley, like, in, um, oh, that one case, Amber Lonigan, that I have on here, I kept getting that name too, so I'm just wondering. Um, anyways, uh, back in Molly's curlyish hair, he does have wavy hair at one time. Uh, green eyes, he does have green eyes. And Molly's a place she's familiar with, a place no one would check. She's going to tell something, someone something that day. I think this relates to Nicole. Um, he has a chipped tooth. He looks, he looks to have a chipped tooth. He does have a horse belt buckle. It's big, just like I how I saw. He, spurs came in, he does have spurs, Copenhagen, he does chew, smoke, he does smoke, there's random stuff in his profile that was all there, um, like Beetlejuice and Pop, 
popsicle. Um, he had something with his kid in a popsicle. Broccoli soup he was making. I don't know. It was just random stuff that he liked all over his page that matched. And Otterite, I talked how he had hatred for an ex-girlfriend that she cheated on him. He used to be into God, then felt the devil was speaking to him. Drugs, possibly. Also, I guess his ex had cheated on him. Um, alone with illness, he also wore a cross, which comes up in the Otterite. Uh, Keegan came in in the auto right, uh, and no knowledge, but that is a connection to Kurt. That's a friend of his. Um, Shaq came up in the auto right, and this is the newer case from Lafayette with Nicole. That's where she was found. The girls mentioned Rainbow. Ashley has a Rainbow tattoos. Um, ribeye, he works on a ranch, but also a picture of a ribeye steak. Uh, red is very important to him. Well, he had lots of red, including cars. Um, wears lots of red, and his rooms are red. Um, and then I also explained the other one. So Rain came in, he does wear one, fishing and hunting, he fishes and hunts. White shoes, he bought a new pair February 4th. Broken hand or fingers, he does um, look to have this. Uh, broken nose, he does look to have one. I said, I don't know why I'm seeing small earrings and how they connect, he wears earrings. I saw a uh, red truck, a red truck, in the auto right, I saw a red Chevy, red truck Chevy. His truck does look like this one. I also said that I saw an older truck smell oil and he likes to work on it. He does work on his older Chevy truck that's red. Also, he I said he had multiple vehicles, which he does. I said um, circles, like he's known in many, many circles. Uh, Jimmy, he used to have a friend named Jenny, Jimmy. Month of April came in. He was arrested this month. Um, I did see handcuffs and it made me feel like he'd be arrested, so he was. Uh, drugs and alcohol help, from what I can find, he does both. In the reading on Amber I did on YouTube, like I said, Ashley, sorry, I already brought that up. Overalls, he does wear them. Um, named Haley, he does have a ex-girlfriend named Haley, and also Haley connects to Keegan. Uh, did get stars, Ashley has a tattoo of stars. Mentioned pigs, he does have pigs. Mentioned tra tractors, he has them around him. Mentioned, um... Mentioned golf. He does play golf and wear golf clothes. Uh, there's a man I kept seeing. I said in the auto right. There was a man I kept seeing. I didn't know why. I had my own sketch done up. Um, there was a man that's connected to Garrett that, that matches that. Um, I got Black Widow and Spiderweb. And there is a friend of his that's connected to Aryan Nation that has this. Um, so... Let's see, I'm not going to say all of that. I want to get in trouble. So I had no idea of this back in the day, but in the auto right, I got the name Thomas. Well, it turns out this is Nicole's last name that she goes by on Facebook. She goes by Nicole Bro Nicole Bowen Thomas. Um, so this is Nicole's last name. So that kind of blew me away, um, especially since it came in two years ago. And it val validated a lot. Also, Let's see, Christian beliefs as well as Illuminati symbol with an eye in the triangle had come in, um, people he's connected to, and also himself. Um, let's see, he also had a mark on his face. Let's see, basically matches the description I gave, and also so does his friend. Um, his friend with the Black Widow tattoo is from Boone Junior High, Daniel, Daniel Boone had came in as well. Um, Garrett and Christopher, I believe, have multiple per profiles. I got the letter G cursive on his work shirt. He works at a, I guess, landscaping place, and they also have red diesel trucks there. Um, another thing that came in on auto rights was angel wings or something, talking about angel wings. As you know, Nicole had angel wings. Um, apparently, they have fake profiles. Um, let's see. Web of Lies came in, and if you've ever seen that show, you know what it's about. Um... So, let's see. There's a circle of pretty bad people, you know, that surround him. And um, I do feel it connects back to, to someone I thought a long time ago. And if you guys are in the group, you know who I'm talking about. Um, it's a lot bigger than people realize as far as the connection. I did say that things were um, ritualistic. And in Nicole's, they were, I guess, in fact, ritualistic from what I've heard. Um, so, drugs came up, as we know. Uh, let's see. So, Folsom Prison had come into my, my brain, the song. There's a guy named Jordan, um, that has Folsom Prison on his page. And, um, that's kind of, kind of funny because that name came through in the last auto-write I did. Uh, was shown a crescent moon. 
Um, I was working on, let's see. There's someone that visits a spot like that. Okay, there's a crystal in connection. Um, it was stated, Crystal, you look so pretty in that hat. Crystal Parker, to be exact. There was mention of peach. Um, someone did make peach liquor. Um, let's see. He's, you know, this guy's a hunter, and he's connected to this guy, Jordan, that's a hunter. Um, I got hiding in plain sight. It's, it's funny that uh, the cops started saying that. Um... He looks like he's got some mental issues. His dad's name is Mark. Mark had come through in the auto rights. Um, Garrett also lived in Georgia, and he graduated from Georgia High School. Um, Aaron came through as well. Um, there's a connection to that name. Uh, looks like um, he's into witchcraft, and Ashley is as well. Um, he likes to. He's a singer-songwriter. He has um, videos on YouTube that had come in. Uh, he lived in Tennessee that had come in. Uh, Tabitha Beckley. It sounds a lot like Becky. I had gotten Becky in the auto rights. Um, remember I always say it can sound like that. So it definitely does very, very, very close. So uh, also this can fit. So I kept seeing something hiding under someone's mattress. Uh, Chris was found hiding under bed. Um, let's see, auto right seven quote, hear the word latches shown an old truck, like an older Chevy, it's loud, has a big hood, I don't know, it's an old car, I feel like he has one of these likes, has one of these, or one of these guys likes these types of truck, also smell oil and see tools, and I rag, feel there, you work on cars or either a hobby profession, he does actually do that and work on his car and he likes to do that, um, his dad, Mark, he used to work at Indiana Packers, um, and there was animal abuse charges there. Uh, so, like I said, things were apparently ritualistic in Nicole's. And I believe that came up in Autorite 4. Uh, I believe March came up in Autorite 4. That, that would be when she was murdered. That's also her birthday, uh, Nicole. Uh, light to dark. Look at him two years ago and today he looks completely different. Um... Auto right two quote. There's not one. There's not one alone. Others participated. Again, shown three. Three could be March. Shown a triangle. Not always killing a group. Sometimes he will kill alone. So that goes where there was other people participated in that, as we know. I don't feel like Delphi was done by one person either. Um, I think Delphi is a big, bigger situation. Let's see. So he is into the Mystic Triangle. What's the one with the cross and the triangle, which I had gotten? Let's see. Auto right two. He strangled them, but not to death. Let him catch the air. And did it again. Something backed close to death and then letting them breathe again. Trying to torture and control. He did. He does have previous things for strangling on his record. Um, he may have done this to Nicole also since she was tortured for four days. So he may have strangled her and let her breathe and did that again. And, um, let's see, so, heavy drug use around all this, Aryan Brotherhood connected to people he's connected to, and Kurtz is also a carver, loves blood and knives. So, sorry if that was a little confusing, I'm trying, I was trying to go back to what people had said and said, hey, this matches, so, those were the matches that we found so far connecting Kurtz to, um, Nicole, and way back then, and it all, all matches, so in some way, somehow, I feel like it's connected to Delphi, just because why else would I get that much information on him and Nicole in the auto rights, um, two years ago, two and a half years, I don't know, over two years ago, so anyways, thank you for liking and subscribing and being here, try not to make it complicated and confusing, I swear, um, it's just, there's a, it's kind of hard to go back and remember and validate. And if you guys can find anything out and you would like to send me validations, please do so. That goes for any of my cases. If you guys, um, if it, they hit, if something hits, um, you can contact me. Uh, we are going to be starting a, a new podcast. So you can send uh, your stuff into the psychic sleuth at gmail.com. And I will see you next time. Thank you.